recording. And I, okay, then I'm going to have to pause it for Joke Monday. But so here we are. Um, quickly share the screen so we get that title up there. And I have to do this for some reason, it will not trust this new iPad. So I have to do it. Um, I'm going to have to mirror, I guess, which is pain in the butt talks. But okay. So we're going to mirror it, makes it slower. Uh, here we are. So we're episode five, uh, season one. And let's see. So before I get, uh, before we do our joke Monday, let me uh, show you what's new, what I've been spending my time on. Is that the right one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me show you this. Maybe. Desktop one. Huh. All right. We'll do this one. Okay. I'm sharing something new here. So. <clears throat> it's a lot of shares tonight. All right, let's get off that. Okay, can you guys see what I'm trying to share with you? Uh, yeah, if it's the browser. Well, do you see, um, can you see the screen? Uh, I don't see the, the Facebook green. stuff. The Facebook stuff? Okay, it's weird. All right. I'll have to watch the, watch the recording and see what you guys saw. Well, the new thing that I want to share, okay, I'm scrolling now. I guess you can see that. That's that's all guide one. Okay, great. Guide two is the papers. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Guide two is the papers. Uh, guide three is... Um, okay, guide two is the paper. Guide, guide three is the research papers. Uh, reference papers and i have a new one of those tonight i'll show you that in a minute uh guide four is the new one though guide four is this so on guide four i have um this is actually i have the history timelines that i've been putting together for years but i've been working on in the last few days and like this is 1972 to the present day and it's all the stuff that's happened in physics also a few other markers in there so it's kind of interesting to go to that. It goes all, it'll end up going all the way back to 1495. Uh, so there's 1972 to 2020. And then I, then I go through. So at first I show the whole big, no one can read that. It's too small, especially on a phone. But then in the comments, I go back and I show each one of them. Like 1972, the first video game console used primary for playing video games on a TV uh, was first invented in 1972. But then it also goes into the charm cork was in, was discovered in 1974. Uh, we get into Voyager, uh, Voyager one, Voyager two, all this kind of stuff. Stephen Hawking, Amazon. So so it just goes on and on. Uh, but but then it goes back. And so far I've gotten it back to 1941. No, I got back to 1930, 1929. It's as far back as I've got. But every time we come on, like tomorrow, I'll have it back to whatever 1905 or something i'll keep going back until i get all the way back to 1495 so that that'll be a good reference on this facebook group and like like most facebook groups uh die eventually once once the class is over right well the ascii's physics show won't die so this facebook group should be here as long as I mean, all the Facebook groups are there. I mean, they don't say they die. They only die because nobody really goes there anymore. But hopefully this will keep getting new material and fresh. And so two years from now, three years from now, you can still go back here and find reference to whatever sheets and all, I guess. I'll have to figure this out how I want to do that. So and then, of course, the other guides that we already talked about, the, the I move this the history guide for guide five now is the videos all the good uh the best videos the best youtube channels uh for you all for physics or science in general i know matt didn't see that last time 
And then the last, the last guide I have right now is um, all the, what I think are really good books. Okay, so I talked about that last time. Okay, so, oh, and now let's go ahead and without further ado, I'm gonna pause because I gotta show you Joke Monday. So this is a, okay, I'm gonna pause recording before I do that though. Uh, and I'll, I'll put the link, I guess, yeah, I guess I put the link, I'll put the link in the, for the Joke Monday in the comments. Uh, but this one is a classic and I wanna know whether you've seen it, uh, we'll watch it and then I, I laugh every time. But uh, I was at uh, Andrew, I was at the Lions Park last night for the Summer Breeze and there was a rapper there, JB, and um, our neighbor who's <laughs> into folk music didn't have no idea what a rapper was and never heard the word rapper. And so she went and sat in the front row, <laughs> but we went with her, but she kind of liked it. So anyway, I was thinking, okay, this reminds me of a joke Monday. So I've got to play uh, Spitfire. Okay. So I got to, I got to pause the recording. All right. Okay. We'll get back after it now. <clears throat> Fun's over. And share this. See, I got to every time now if i don't have a cable normally I have a, I have a cable hooked up but it won't take the cable i'll figure that out later all right so here we go what uh hold on oh oh, oh i gotta stop that sharing okay let me share this new one okay Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. There you go. So here's the uh, topics for today. We did joke Monday. Um, we'll do a little field trip updating because that's this week. Uh, we'll get to find out who all can go. Uh, we'll talk about, we'll have an interview and um, I don't think she's here yet, but I had Macy Boren. Macy's not here yet. All right, so Macy will come on. We'll do about a five-minute interview with her. She's at Long Beach State. And interesting story uh, about her, what she's doing right now. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I have not, this is a cold interview. I've, I just asked her today, earlier, and she said, sure, she'll stop by. So she ought to stop by here sometime in the next 30 minutes. And we'll talk to her for about five minutes. All right, uh, we'll do a little pulleys and inclined planes. Hopefully you maybe tried that homework. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about mechanical advantage and machines. We'll talk about ideal mechanical advantage. And then we'll start, we'll have to start talking about work. All right, so here we go. Let's keep going. Hey, Macy's here. So, hey Macy, let me change this. Hold on, let me get off the share. I'll stop sharing. And uh, let's let multiple participants share. And let me uh, call you up. Hold on. Close all that out. Macy. And then Macy to allow rename. I'll make you the host. Start. Ask to start video. Okay, I'm going to, all right. Uh, I'm gonna hit make you the host. Okay. And, um, hide non-video participants, pin. Okay, there's Macy. So Macy's on, but her camera's not on right now. So there she comes. There she is. Hello. Okay. Hi, Macy. Uh, let me change it so they can hear you. Maybe they can hear you. I don't understand. The whole I think so. Audio. On can Zoom. you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yep. Did you guys hear me? Okay. Great. All right. So we got to hear me and you. How you doing? Awesome. I'm great. How are you? You're looking good. You're looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> so you're back for the summer. Yes. Yep. I'm in my, and, my bedroom. 
can you guys can hear her okay thumbs up okay good they say they can hear you so this is my studio audience and, and we record this i am recording this just to let you know but it's good but it's not mm -hmm. for public use it's only for my class or this little show so okay. i think i invited you to the to the facebook page that it's on facebook group that it's in that's a private group okay so um and i've interviewed another one or two other people so we're still getting figuring this out so awesome. all right now the reason why i wanted to quickly just do a five-minute interview with you was uh because you are at long beach state still yes okay yeah and um, i love it yeah and i okay good so it's going well and um i so i i know that you started off like music mm -hmm. so yeah what's going on now so I, yeah, I did take a semester as vocal music education, and then I switched to aerospace engineering. Yeah. So, so that's why yeah. I want to because <laughs> it was it was quite a shift. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it got to a point where I loved music too much to be studying it anymore, and I feel like a lot of people will find that, and a lot of your students, you guys will find that too. Mm -hmm. Like once you start taking classes of something that you really enjoy, it's a different ball game. Yes. It's like, oh my gosh, I love to sing and I love to perform, but is this really what I want to dedicate my life to? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, so you, you said, well, I'm just going to keep music as more of a hobby or fun. And mm -hmm. then you're going to start. So uh, did you ever go on that JPL uh, tour with Dane? No, I didn't get to because we had it scheduled for March like twenty. Oh, the COVID thing. and everything shut down March sixteenth. Well, hopefully so, we can get that ah, fired up again. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'd love uh, to. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so what are so what happened to your classes when you switched? Yeah. Um, so it was my second semester, about halfway through. My university was one of the first. I think it was USC, University of Southern California said, we are not having classes for this next week. And okay. then all the, the Cal State schools were like, okay, we're not having classes for this next week. Okay. And then we just kept getting emails. Okay, it's gonna be another weekend. Yeah. Um, okay, everyone needs to move out of their dorms. Yeah. We're gonna go online. And so we we're like, oh my goodness, okay. Yeah. So, I actually came home because we had so much right. time. We didn't know what to do. So then I had to fly back, get all my stuff here. And then they went completely online for that rest of the semester and the entirety of this past year. Okay. So next semester, they're just now starting hybrid compared to OU. I know next semester they're doing 100% back in person. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. you are, are you taking any, uh, like aerospace type classes or i'm getting into it yeah so last semester um was my first semester as an engineering student um so i took like a solidworks class which was autocad and things like that where you design parts i took a computer programming course which i had never taken before and that was specifically for engineering i took a physics 101 course which is required for all engineers and then next semester, I'll have um, some mechanical and aerospace engineering 101. So, You'll, yeah. So you took physics 101. That was mechanics. It was 151. Uh huh. Yep. And, and it was so mechanics and heat. You're, you're going to take electromagnetics next semester. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. That'll be a tough. That's going to be a tough semester. I know. Yeah. Uh, hybrid being that you are uh, and you can handle it because you handle my course fine but hybrid yeah. being that, that you'll be are you going to be go back out to california or are you going to stay here yeah actually um i will be going out i got an ra job oh, so okay. that's that's a huge encouragement <laughs> so yeah. i don't have to pay for housing that's um cool. and then i have um for me it's frustrating because engineering students they kind of give you last priority um some of my friends who are still in music all of their classes are going to be in person for me i only have one class and it's like a small group discussion 
that's going to be in person. But, that's not good. Maybe, maybe that'll yeah. get better as the semester goes on. Maybe. And that's what we're hoping for yeah. as more people. Cause it's really hard to get vaccines out there. I mean, not necessarily hard to get vaccines, but there's just so many people. I always forget how many people there actually are. So <laughs> they're just taking all the precautions to yeah. make sure we're safe. Okay. So, uh, when do you think you would, when, when are you projected to get like an aerospace engineering degree? I'm still trying to graduate in four years. So that will be 23. Okay. Um, but I might have to take an extra semester or summer courses. Um, just because I never stopped taking classes, it'd be a little bit different if I had, um, like taking the semester off or taking a year off, it might mess with it a little bit, but I'm still projected to graduate in 23, maybe this semester after. Okay. So you're out Long Beach state. I got to ask you, do you, do you, are you a surfer now? I, <laughs> so I'm a skater. Skater. <laughs> surfing. Yeah. Sur surfing. You have to have a lot of equipment, but skateboards, you can pick one up anywhere out there. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause surfing is kind of expensive, I guess. Yeah, you got to get the wax, you got to get the, the water just right, you got to get oh, the wetsuit. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, but I have some friends out there who are who do all that. There is actually, they offer, like, you know how some schools will do, like, um, kinesthesi uh, kinesthesiology. Uh -huh. You have to do, like, running or stuff, but they do offer surfing. So <laughs> wow. if you want to come to Long Beach, you can take a you surfing get, class. You get a class in surfing. That'd yeah. be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, you, you guys have any questions uh, for Macy? They're they're kind of a quiet bunch. Uh, they do chat occasionally, mm -hmm. um, but uh, you, I don't know if you recognize any names up here. No, Sophia is awesome. Ellie's sister. I don't know if you knew oh, Ellie cool. Simon. Yeah. Um, awesome. But anybody got any questions? They're listening. Um, I have more of a comment, I guess. Yeah. No for it. I just I just thought it's really cool how you're talking about how music is becoming more like a hobby instead of a profession. And I feel the same way with like art. And um so like I'm kind of focusing on keeping art as a hobby and like maybe studying more physics as a yeah. too. Yeah. And there's definitely ways to blend the two. Um and, and I honestly have felt like so much more freedom with my singing now. Um, than I ever did before studying it. Um, so you might find that with art too. You might find more of an expression um, as you go into that more. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, Sophia and, and Macy, you guys will get along well. Um, all right. So, well, we're going to let you go, you guys, because you can stick around if you want. We're just going to do some physics stuff here, but uh, talk about our field trip. Uh, so just thank you for coming, for sticking well, in thank there. Thank you. You guys are great. Good luck. <laughs> Stick with and, it, uh, honestly. And, and Macy's now a member of the uh, Facebook group. So if you have a question, you could probably ask her there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you, Macy. Thank you, Mr. Askey. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye bye. Now, if I can. Now, you're the host, though. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can get yeah. that back to you. I got to get back okay. to me being the host. But how do I do that? Um. Okay. I just did it. You did it. Now I'm the host again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. And there I am back again. All right. So I'm going to share again. Get back. We'll get back to tonight's episode. Uh, okay. Garrett. Yeah, Macy was a good kid, good student, uh, had her brothers. That's Senator Boren's um, daughter, by the way. Okay, maybe I can mirror this. Stop the sharing. Okay. Hmm. Well. So you're getting, I got a new iPad and now we're having troubles. Share. There we go. Now we're going. Okay, we're good. 
when the next time I'll try and get the have the cable figured out so we want to do this slow down stuff. Okay, uh, before we get into uh, today's topic, um, just want to give you an update. There's the classroom right now. Uh, in fact, it's cleaned up since then. Uh, we've moved, that's what was left. Uh, we had those heavy bot ball tables and we've moved all those. I was up there a good chunk of the day, but the room is emptied out now, swept out. They're going to redo all this tile, take all the tile out, put in new tile. They're going to, they're going to paint all the walls, take everything off there. Uh, there's the bot ball stuff. Uh, I know Matt, he wants to do a little bot ball next year. We're going to have a clean start. I'll tell you, Matt, because there's all the stuff in the dumpster. Uh, we are out of room. And uh, here's my prep room. That's never, it hasn't been that clean in 20 years. So, uh, going to be a whole another year next year all right so here's the calendar oh we got four days down we're here on monday the 14th uh tomorrow we'll have another episode and then thursday we won't have an episode we'll be at we'll meet at ou uh for the physics building now that's what we got to talk about is where to meet um and i gotta have a i gotta have a head count because they can only have eight or nine students and I've already got five. So um, I need you to commit to, if you're going to. Now, if you don't, if you can't, if you're working, whatever, <clears throat> you can't go. I think it'll be a good, cause they're, they're, it's gonna, they're gonna go from like, we're not just gonna have one person walk us around. They're gonna have a person that's the expert in their area. They're gonna talk to us about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna walk somewhere else and we'll see that lab. and. Then we'll talk to a theoretical physicist and it ought to be pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. So it's much better if you're there, you can ask questions. Um, but if you can't, I'm going to film it like with a selfie stick, it'll probably be horrible. Uh, but I will try my best to uh, film it for you. And I'm sure there are some things that I can't film. So some things you just won't get if you if you're not going to go. Okay, so if you can get out of work, uh, whatever you got to do, um, that would be good. But so far in this crew, Matt said he's going to try and go. But and Anthony has said he will go. Uh, but I don't know about Brandon or Sophia or Jacob. I think I said yes on there. Oh, Brandon did say yes. Oh, I think maybe you did say yes. That's right. All right. I'm gonna write that down just so I make sure I don't forget. So Brandon is a yes. Now the question is though, and then I, I don't know about Sophia or Jacob, whether you guys, what do you guys say? Yes or no at this point? Um, I really want to go, but I think we might be kind of busy that day, but I might be able to squeeze it in. Yeah. So I'll um, have to talk about it with my parents. Yeah, let, let me know um, by tomorrow. Cause they, they want to, they, they want a head count. Oh, you does. Uh, and so Sophia is a possibility. And uh, Jacob, what about you? Okay, he says, I don't think I'll be able to go, but I'll check. All right, so uh, if you can, that's great. Um, if you can't, then I will, uh, <clears throat> like I say, watch, we'll, we'll put a video up. Um, now the question is, for those that are going, where do we meet? Because it's limited parking uh, it's limited parking around OU. Um, some of you live not that far away. And I'll, I'm, I'm going to ride my bike. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, this, you know where the physics building is? It is the building south of the main library, the big clock tower on campus. If you, go, if you walk straight south, you'll run into the physics building. There's two buildings now, uh, but you'll run into that physics building. So we're going to meet, uh, let's meet out, um, on this. We, we, if you want to ride bikes, I mean, I'm going to ride my bike and I'll probably go to lions park and that might be a good place to meet. You can drive your car there and park there for free and then just hop on a bike and come with. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, or you don't want a bike or whatever. Um, I'll ride my bike over to, the um we can just meet right there at the physics building but you have to park on some side street okay there shouldn't be that bad of parking in summer um and then and if i can get a better parking arrangement i'll let you know 
or you can have somebody drop you off, whatever. Uh, I thought, well, I could drive my truck, but I can only hold four people. So we have like six or seven or eight. Do you know the name of the building? There's one called, yeah, it's called Lynn Nielsen Hall. Hall. Nielsen Hall. All Nielsen right. Hall. And it's that that's the old physics building. And then the, the new physics building is just to the south of it. They're connected. It's like the Dodge um, connection between them. I've never, I've never been to the new building. So I'm kind of curious to go there. Uh, Lloyd Bond, Dr. Baum is putting this on, or he's the one that's kind of coordinating this. So I'll talk to him later tonight or tomorrow about more details. And so stay tuned. I'll probably just put a post in that post that's already on the Facebook group. I'll probably put it on there. Just comments that'll kind of give us updates of what to watch out for, what to do. As far as um, it's going to last about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. Uh, sometimes these professors get long winded, um, but we know to cut it off. If you can stay for at least 45 minutes, uh, that would be that, that's you need to be there at least 45 minutes, but uh, hopefully you can be there for the whole hour, hour and a half. Okay, so more about this tomorrow. We'll quickly go over it. All right. Oh, and there's Macy. We did that. Here's a new uh, help sheet that I put up and this is, uh, uh, I just put this one together just for this, just for the show, but this is side 21, I'll add it. And so some, just kind of archiving some of the things we talked about. Fundamental forces, uh, that's probably the best uh, synopsis I've seen of those. Uh, and a little bit about gravity, there's the idea of inverse square law, um, how much would an apple weigh, you know, 1D, 2D, 3D. There's a little bit about, uh, uh, in fact, this was on the news again tonight about Tulsa. Uh, they found in those mass graves where Dr. Witten and I were, they found infant bones, quite a few of them, unfortunately, in those mass graves to not today in Tulsa. And so some of that work was done, uh, initial work was done with, with gravometers uh, or gravimeters. And this, was, this would be exactly of anomalies, whether you have, and in that case, for Tulsa, the anomalies look like that uh, because they were loose dirt. Uh, you found loose dirt, you find caves, lower density items. So there's one application of it. There's a bit about tides and there's a bit about tidal friction uh, with lunar lock. Okay, so that's the uh, next help sheet. I got five more I'm working on at the same time. So uh, that's we're about at a point where everything comes as an avalanche. So um, to get to that avalanche, and now we got we still got 25 minutes to go. Uh, we talked, we started talking about pulley land last time, and there, there are five rules of pulley land. And the reason why I start with pulleys, I was asking myself this question: Why are we starting with pulleys? Is because pulleys is the first chance where we have a system of forces working together to to move a load. Well, that's basically what a machine is. A car is a system of pulleys and levers, basically, and springs and, you know, pistons, camshafts, but it's still, of course, there's chemical energy involved. Even if it's electric, there's still chemical energy involved. There's a redox reaction that's involved in the cells. So it's, a, it's chemical energy, it's mechanical energy, it's electrical energy, but it's still, it still is a matter of combining forces, input force, output force, the input force from one part of the machine goes as the output force of that part into the input force of the next part. And so even a car engine is an example of, or a nuclear power station is an example of a combination of simple levers. And so um, I thought well, pulley is a good way to start. So last time we, we, we talked about the five rules of pulley land. Uh, we said that the, that the rope is, uh, is like the x-axis melted around the pulley. Uh, direction of motion is always positive. Uh, the tension is the same throughout, throughout the rope, and we'll talk about wrapping the rope around tonight. Uh, acceleration is positive. It's always positive and the same for both objects. Uh, you don't have one object accelerating more than the other. That would cause the, either the rope to break or the rope to become loose. And when we're giving symbols, A is bigger than B is bigger than C, et cetera. 
Okay, so last time we did this, we did our first uh, pulley problem just to show where some of the forces come involved and how the forces work together. Uh, the tension in the rope is, if you look at it all as one system, the tension is internal. And as Newton said, all internal forces cancel each other. And so we have that equation for acceleration of the simplest possible uh, pulley system. We'll get more complicated tonight. And then as we did a couple of problems and I left you with that problem, which is right here. I left you with this problem to work on as homework. Um, now homework uh, is an insult to you all. I realize that it's June and uh, I'm lucky you're here. Uh, even <laughs> graced me with your presence, right? Because you could be out, uh, you know, messing around doing something else, but I'm glad you're here but asking you then in addition to do homework is insanity. Uh, and so a, a homework is always optional and say, hey, if, you, if you're interested, try this. So here's one I, I, um, I, I asked you to try. Anybody happen to do it just out of curiosity? Hold on, any takers on that? I tried it. Okay, um, so if you tried it, um, First thing you want to do, and let's just, we're, we don't, I, I want to move on to the stuff, but uh, first thing you want to do on trying this is you do it like you did the last one. Uh, you, you do your free body diagrams for each one of these blocks. And so that's easy enough. Uh, this, now the big one is A, the little one's B. And so that's M A G. That is in from the table source. And then we have tension tension in the rope. Now for A then that tension is constant. The tension is constant throughout a tight rope, one of the rules of pulley land. And then we have, which I should have done first, the big dog, and that is the um, MAG. So that that is what your, um, oops, 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 dumb, sorry. That's the little dog, that's B. The big dog is A. All right, so MAG is what runs the show, the bigger mass. Now we're assuming that this pulley is massless and frictionless, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take into account that, that it's not perfect here in a minute when we get into just the uh, kind of machine nomenclature. So we're attacking a problem the old fashioned way through F equals MA, we're going to start to attack it more from a machine point of view. But once you have that, then, then you got to go through, add the two equations up. You get, an, you get an equation for acceleration. And I'm going to skip to the chase. I'm going to skip the chase here and go right to the uh, answer. So there's, your, there's adding your two equations up, your F equals MA. Uh, you get this. Th there's your new equation. Oh, sorry. There is friction. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. There is friction up here on this table. So it's a little F back. Okay, that's kinetic friction, it's sliding. All right, so um, you end up with that equation for acceleration because now we have friction involved. Uh, and we end up with um, that for our numbers and then 6.71 uh, for the acceleration. So uh, it, it would normally, uh, A would fall at an, with, if B wasn't there, A would fall at 9.81. And because there's friction on there and B has mass, uh, even, if, even if there weren't friction there, you would still have, even if that was a frictionless surface, A would not fall at 9.81. Uh, anybody have a hazard guess why? Like if I took this out, if I just took that away, whoa, okay. If I just took that away, um, notice that a the acceleration of the whole thing in fact that friction doesn't really play that huge of a role it's only 20 newtons you take that out you're still you're gonna get like seven or something uh you're gonna get like 7.5 or something not 9.81 well why is that if there's no friction what does b that 40 newton box have that's slowing a down there's no mass? friction. It has mass. Mm -hmm. So it has inertia. So it's the, it's the inertia, uh, the resistance, uh, in, sorry, the inertia, the resistance to movement that, um, 
iner inertia, oh, sorry, inertia uh, of, of body B doesn't want to move. And so its resistance is what slows A down in that case. Not even if there's not friction, you're still, you still got to get past that mass. Okay. And then I don't think a whole lot of people probably attacked this one. Um, maybe, Sophia, did you uh, try this one? No. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. You already went above and beyond. I, I'm not going to, we could easily spend the next 18 minutes just working on this problem. This is, this is a challenge. I'll tell you that. Uh, let's at least, and you, you, by the way, you have this, if you kept your packet, from um so uh everybody here had me okay yeah everybody here had me last semester so if you kept your packet from last semester uh at least these papers the last like you ripped those last papers off you have this i think this would have been like 611 um you have this if if you don't have it it's on the facebook group and i'm not saying you should print it off but if you wanted it, you should try it uh, because this is a big part of AP physics is inclined planes and pulley systems. Because this is, now we're getting a little more complicated machine. Now it's not just a simple, because now there's all these angles involved. So if you have the paper, try real quick to come up with, and this time I'll do it right. Always do the big dog first. There's my biggest arrow I got, MAG. And then that one's just tension. It's got to be less. I, yeah, I'll be right, because... Oh, it says two objects, 10 kilograms, five kilograms are connected by a rope that passes over a frictionless pulley as in the figure below. The five kilogram object lies on a frictionless incline at a 40 degree angle with a horizontal. Find the acceleration of the two objects. So you have to make an assumption on acceleration. I'm going to assume that the friction is, is there friction? It says frictionless. Okay, so uh, in that case, the pulley will turn pulley will turn counterclockwise. And so that's how you talk about direction on a pulley system. You don't say left, right, up, down. Uh, thank you, Jacob. You said, I uh, see your comments later. Uh, but on pulley systems, you say, you, you talk about the direction as clockwise, counterclockwise, at least for simple pulley systems. When there's one pulley, when there's two pulleys, then you have to think of something else. All right, so you have that. And then we do the forces on the B and we got MBG. We got normal. Normal is always perpendicular to the surface. We got tension in the rope, and that is constant. That is constant throughout the rope, so it's congruent. It's congruent but opposite. Uh, it's a tensile force, as we showed. It's tensile, tensile throughout the whole rope, and that's it because there's no friction. So those are my three forces. Uh, three forces on block block B. That's MBG. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna to cut to the uh, Martha Stewart here. I'll pull it out of the oven. And so the, oh, next page. Yeah. And so the, um, when I put the two together, the, the uh, two equations, uh, I get, <clears throat> I want to generalize, does it have an angle? Yeah, 40 degree angle. Okay, I stuck the, I stuck the angle in later. Um, and you did curve that X axis around the pulley. So the grid there is the X axis. And so, um, the the main equation you're looking for is that one there for acceleration uh you did the simple one for a you did a little bit more complicated because on b uh you had the you get the you get a component of mbg right because it's an inclined plane so these pulley system inclined plane problems they combine all the complications of a pulley system with all the complications and angles of an inclined plane and so that's why it's becomes more of a challenge. Usually we hit this around April uh, in class. So um, mid-April. So uh, that's your equation for acceleration. Uh, and then you end up plugging your numbers in. We get an acceleration there of 4.4. Then it says find the tension there up. You plug that back into a previous equation, you get 53 Newtons. Okay. So um, if you want to uh, try number six, uh, just for funsies, um, I'll tell you what, well, I need to start giving prizes or something for anybody who gets it right. Either prizes or I can't, I, I can't really stamp your paper. I'll give you like virtual stamps or something. 
Uh, and then, then that would be like accommodations, accom accommodations, um, like you know something I could put on your certificate or something that you you figured out the puzzles. Maybe I'm still like I say this is still a work in progress, but if you want to get a the first uh, stamp uh, quote, um, the first um, I'll think of some word for it then try number six and then uh, in the comments uh, when we start or you can tell well maybe in the comments you could answer what you think the answer is and see if you're right so you'll get something for trying and you'll double that if you get it right in fact the answers are at the bottom so um so uh check you can you'll know if you're right okay but it's a lot like five use five as your template although now the 18 kilogram object sliding downhill so i'm not just doing this to cause you pain uh this really will help you for next year uh in ap physics because trust me most people won't and uh, you, when you get to this about you'll get to this stuff about october of next year um next next uh school year uh you'll be ready to go Okay, so try that. Now we're going to get to, so in general, uh, I will put this, this will be on the next equation sheet, uh, the one I'm working on. And there's something called a villatoro shortcut. And I had two villatoros. I had, um, I had uh, uh, George, we called him, uh, villatoro. And he uh, was my first, uh, um, he was the first programmer on my first main program on my world. Now the first world champion programmer on my robotics team, we won the world championship. He went off and found, founded his own company in San Francisco and ended up selling out on it for about 5 million. And now he just travels the world, but his brother, Joel, uh, he is the author of the Villa Toro shortcut. And so the Villa Toro shortcut on, on inclined plane pulley systems, is basically all you do, you can go right to the equation. You first you gotta draw some free bodies and that's the free body. This is a more complicated system. Uh, in this one, we have tension, we have friction, we have, of course, normal. We Somebody's pushing down on the block, on this blue block. So you have all these different forces on it. This is about as complicated as a inclined plane pulley system gets. Um, Cause then you got to do kinematics as well. But what, what, Joel was a little, had a little lazy streak in him, but he was also brilliant. And so he would always try to find shortcuts, ways to solve problems. And so he would get the problem done before anybody else and finally talk to him about, well, how'd you do it? And he says, well, all I do is I take all the helping forces. I treat it all as one system. So he treats this, and there's, here's a way to do it in AP physics. It'll help you in the AP test. He treats this thing as a snake. All right, so this is all one, in his mind, he sees it as a snake. So here's a big snake and it's going in the direction of motion. In this case is clockwise on the pulley. So here's the head of the snake here. Here's the tongue. Uh, here's the tail. All right. So the snake's going that way. Now all internal forces cancel. So he doesn't even, he doesn't worry about tensions at all, but they go away. As long as the pulley has no mass, the tensions go away. Now you cannot, the, the unfortunately the friction force does not go away because it's not conserved and friction, remember friction's Pac-Man. So friction always eats. Um, so what he said was, he, I just take all the helping forces, things that are helping motion. I subtract all the things that are hurting motion. And then I divide by the total mass and that will always give me acceleration. And that is true. So that's what we do. Uh, that's, that's how we end up solving a lot of these problems pretty quick is using the Villator shortcut. I'll put this in the next equation sheet. I'll add these to the, um, I'll add these to the, uh, I'll ask George or Jorge uh, to maybe join the group. His is older brother. I don't know where Joel is. Okay, now what I wanna do is talk about in the next last nine minutes, I wanna talk about uh, another approach to uh, mechanical systems like pulleys. And that is something called ideal We'll get to ideal mechanical advantage and actual mechanical advantage. What you want in a what you want in a machine is mechanical advantage, right? 
you want to get more, you want to get more out than you put in. Uh, eh, technically you can't do that. Uh, there's, there's uh, first law of thermodynamics, you know, conservation of energy. Uh, the work in is the work out, but and we're going to get more to work here. It's coming up a couple of slides, but ideal mechanical advantage means ideal means that there's no friction. Okay. We're just, we're, we're looking at this as if it were a perfect system. So if I take uh, let's let's go a little more comp. Well, if I take a, a pulley, just one pulley and I take a rope and I'm going to lift, let's say I got to, let's keep all this as a hundred pounds. So I'm going to lift 100 pounds. Does this, here's my pull, I'm pulling here. Does this machine, does this pull, here, it's hooked to a ceiling. Does this pulley offer me any advantage? No. It does. And, and it does not offer me any force advantage. No, because I'm going to pull <laughs> down, you are correct. I'm going to pull down with 100 pounds of force. So it offers me no force advantage, but it does offer me a direction advantage. And that's important. I mean, you see these kind of police systems all the time in warehouses and stuff, because it's a lot easier because when you're pulling down, you're using gravity and it's, it's easier on the muscles. When you're pulling up, it's hard to lift things with your back, but you can pull down. Uh, it's a lot easier. So there is a direction advantage there. Okay. Now, if I turn that around, let's say that now I have my pulley system here hooked up to a ceiling and my rope goes around like this. And then I have a floating weight. Let's say there's a floating weight here on that hundred pounds again. And now I lift, and this is attached to the ceiling. So now I lift. Now, do I get any kind of advantage out of that? Yeah, I get a force advantage. I don't get a direction advantage because I'm still having to lift up on that 100 pounds. So this seems like a really stupid pulley system. What advantage do I get? Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, a couple ways to do this. This is called a load bearing rope, an LBR, and that is an LBR. So what this system does, what this machine does is it gives you two ropes. You say, no, Mr. Askey, there's one rope, but not according to the weight. The weight thinks there's two ropes pulling up on it. There's now two tensions pulling up on a hundred pounds. And so that 100 pounds down is now divided 50 pounds here and 50 pounds here. So you're pulling up with 50 pounds and you're lifting 100 pounds. So that's a pretty daggone good machine. All right, let's see if we can make it better. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this. Okay, let's go here now. Uh, okay, let me erase those. Let's get let's get make it more interesting. All right, now I want to use two. I want to use two uh, pulleys. This guy up here and this guy down here, and I'm gonna hook. Okay, that's and I have these pulleys in my truck. Still haven't had time to set up my because I finally got my room cleaned out now. Now I can maybe start setting up this room. Maybe my next, probably not next time, but next week I'll have my demonstration table set up. Anyway, so I have two pulleys like this, and then I'm going to, I'm going to attach a rope right here. I'm going to go around this pulley. I'm going to go around this pulley and I'm going to pull down. So, and then let's go with that same hundred pounds attached. Okay. Now this one, what, how many pounds of force will I need to pull down on that to get that hundred pounds to lift? Uh, I mean, I guessed 50 still, but you'd have to move it further, right? Because let's take a look. Um, if I look at that hundred pounds, I have T here and T here. 
but that T is not lifting, right? These are load bearing ropes. They have to be load bearing. And that part of the, and I, I keep calling them ropes and they do that. They're actually sections of the same rope. These are all considered simple pulley systems. Simple pulley systems only have one rope. So, but, but you can divide it up into three sections. So this one is you still pull down with 50 pounds. So why is this system, uh, why is this system here a better system than this system here? Directional advantage or whatever. Right, you're talking because about. the second, the, the, the red one has a directional advantage as well as a force advantage. So now we're getting pretty sophisticated here. Uh, before we go, let's try another one. This time let's go, let's see, hold on. Let's go. All right, now let's go with this one. That, a little guy there. Uh, I like that. Okay, we'll make this one pulley, set of pulleys, and this pulley here. And then on here, we hang the 100 pounds. And now for our rope, uh, let's start with this one. Let's go up and around and around and back down. And now, and this is the ceiling up here, we're attached to the ceiling. So now how many pounds will you be pulling down with? I can't hear anybody. How many pounds you think? You go, well, it's, it's 100 pounds down, but on each one of these, it is T, T, T. So now you're splitting it into three, right? Because now, thank you, Jacob, you said 33. So there are three LBRs. There are three, like something's called three LBRs, three load-bearing ropes. Plus you get a direction advantage. So this is the best system yet. Um, and then let me blow this up and show you some, here's some examples. This will be on the next equation sheet. Uh, I gave a more complicated here. Here we have an IMA, ideal mechanical advantage of seven. Uh, with this with this machine uh, here, uh, we got an ideal mechanical advantage of six. And then this one has, this is actual numbers to this one. Here I can, I got an IMA of five, so I can pull up with 100 pounds, I can lift it with 20 pounds. So this talks about that a little bit. Uh, that's IMA stuff. Next time we'll get into AMA, which is actual mechanical advantage. Talk about efficiency, talk about work. Uh, I promise you, I keep saying work, it's coming up. Boom, there it is, it's the next slide. So work, and that leads us into energy and all that. Okay, so now that finishes, we're at 7.30 and um, Tomorrow, we'll talk more about the field trip. I'll try and get some more details on that. Uh, looks like I've got about seven right now. Hopefully, uh, Sophia maybe can pull it off or Jacob. If you guys can't, and Matt too, I need to know about Matt. Uh, but if you can't, uh, that's okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna probably just ask people on the Facebook group. So I wanna have, I told them I'd have eight or nine. So I wanna have eight or nine kids. But I wanna give you guys, you guys get first crack at it, right? Okay, so uh, good. We're now officially over. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll I'll let you guys go. Tomorrow we'll do a six fifteen. I'll open the door. Six thirty we start, and um, we'll get into pulleys and machines and levers. More into all machine talk next time. All right. Thanks, Mr. Rowski. Okay. See you guys. Uh, I can show up to the thing. You said yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put you down for a yes. And uh, uh, can you come, will you be here tomorrow? Well, just keep watching the Facebook group. Uh, that'll give you more details. Okay. And if you're here tomorrow, I'll talk to you about it. Okay. Uh, if all else fails, meet us at 1 PM outside the physics building on campus on Thursday, Thursday. Okay. Great. All right. See you. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye-bye.